Hey everyone, Charting Man Dan from ChartGuys.com. You know, behind every single video that we put out every single day, there's a wonderful community of traders that we want to invite you to be a part of. Try the free seven-day trial and gain access to our live market broadcasts every morning and afternoon. Interact with hundreds of like-minded traders or take part in one of our dedicated chat rooms, each led by an analyst that's there to answer your questions in real time. Our trial is risk-free with absolutely no commitment or credit card required to experience the TCG community. For those looking for a head start in technical analysis, check out our entries and exits course in the link below in the description. Get up to speed with the fundamentals of TCG technical analysis and experience over five hours of great community driven trading education. Hey everyone, Dan here checking back in on gold. Let's start off with what stands out to me the most on the gold daily chart. First off is the double top up at 1295 where we rejected and then pulled back. Second, the fact that we broke our higher low pattern as soon as this base of support was broken, that is when momentum shift back to favoring the bears on this daily time frame. And third, the RSI. The RSI is not oversold. Last pullback that we saw, we bounced right off that 30 oversold level. And here we have an inside bar forming on the daily time frame. This is a bullish reversal doji, but we have to see a break of 1257 on Monday to get a bull break of this inside bar and to be looking to confirm it. Because as of right now, with this RSI level where it stands, we could absolutely still see further downside. And another point to that is that on the hourly time frame, we had been oversold on this dump after the FOMC reaction, the RSI bouncing off of 30. And what has played out is really a weak bounce at this point, cooling off the hourly RSI and again, creating space for further downside. We could absolutely see another leg down to start next week. So that's why these bulls need that bull break of that inside bar to try and put a stop to the bleeding, so to speak. So I'm looking at this support here down at the low and the lowest price that we've seen on this pullback is 1251.32. If we break that level, another lower high is coming. And in terms of, or I should say another lower low, and in terms of resistance, the bulls have to break this level here of that 1257 in order to break the high of Friday. So we could absolutely see another leg to the downside. The MACD is close to a bearish cross. It's all about which direction we break this channel from, either Sunday night or Monday morning, in order to gauge which direction we should be looking at. Longer term, we should absolutely be looking bearish after the break of the higher low pattern on the daily. We can see the weekly time frame here. And this is going to be an interesting pattern where we see, in my opinion, a descending triangle. So let's clean this up a little bit and I will draw what I am talking about. Where I'm going to be looking at an uptrend support line. And I'm going to be looking at it on the higher low pattern that we have been seeing on the weekly. So I would be drawing this line right here. And that would lead me to believe that we could have potentially pull back all the way to the 12, the upper 1230s here and still be forming this pattern. And from there, I would look to see the higher low established and then another attempt back at resistance and to stay within this channel. So this is now a weekly channel that I'm absolutely going to be watching. Bearish reversal candlestick confirmed and the bears having momentum. Looking at the miners, we've seen a shift in the daily chart in terms of the miners compared to each other, where for over the past two months, we've been watching the junior miners very clearly weaker than the senior miners and leading us to believe that we should be playing the bull miners. If we're playing bullish, we should be playing the senior miners. And if we're playing bearish, we should be playing the junior miners. That has shifted this past week where here we see the senior miners and they have broken to lower lows on the daily time frame by breaking their low of the end of May of 2220. And we look at the junior miners and they have not broken that low from back in May. We have a higher low established right now. That being said, the weekly time frames comparatively here on the weekly time frame for the senior miners, GDX, we have a lower high and a lower low, but we haven't broken the low of May. And we look at the junior miners and we have a much more clear lower high and lower low. So the bulls still have a lot of work to do in both of these names. The bulls backs are against the wall as they have been pretty much all of 2000 February or February 2017 until now. So just a little bit more detail. That's the senior miners here, GDX. The bears are in full control. The exponential moving averages are resistance. They have been rejecting the price for the past week, and we're now looking down at support of 2194. And if that level breaks, I'm looking down at 2175. And there's a gap to fill at 2157 to be watching. In terms of the weekly chart for the senior miners, again, the middle Bollinger Band resistance continues to reject the price. So we've bounced off the 200 week moving average support three times, six times. That level's down at 2149, and we're in a channel now after rejecting from the middle Bollinger Band resistance four out of the last five weeks. So we've rejected 
four times. We've bounced six times. That's the channel to be watching on the weekly time frame. Close above the middle Bollinger Band. We're looking for some bullish action. Close below the 200-day, and we're looking down at 2016 and the lows right before the new year down in the $18 range. So the, the bear miners are where it is at with this current setup on the daily time frame for gold. Here on the junior miners, I'm looking at support of 32.15 and then down to 30.89, and resistance is up at 35.05. But on the weekly time frame, haven't even tested the middle Bollinger Band resistance yet. The bulls are bouncing off the 100-week moving average support. A little bit different setup, but holding that level multiple times and watching this lower high pattern over pretty much all of 2017, initiating from the top in February of 2017, just lower highs and lower lows. Upper wicks of profit taking the last two weeks. So it's a scenario with this setup where I personally would only be looking to play bear miners. And if there is no clear setup that I like on the bear miners, I'm going to be playing something else. I'm going to be playing stocks. I'm going to be playing cryptocurrencies or the marijuana sector. There's so many other things out there to be playing rather than trying to swim upstream against the trend when it is so very clear that the bear miners have had some significant control pretty much the past five, four or five months of trading. So I appreciate you watching, keeping an eye on gold and the low that we saw at the end of last week, keeping an eye on this weekly uptrend and watching those RSI levels. They've been giving us some decent heads up on when the bounces do occur. I appreciate you watching and I hope you have a great rest of your weekend.